Ooh, what's up guys? And of course, no, this is no confirmation of Generation 5. I just thought, you know, since everybody's doing it, that I just, I could go and be a, make a joke out of all of it, really. But in all honesty, it's actually kind of cool that something new has happened to future of this year, basically. Um, because nothing's really confirmed. Uh, we got, of course, this picture of uh, Magiana, which is, um, well, confirmed to be a new Pokemon. That is really as uh, as far as this kind of confirmation goes. And that's about the size of it. It's introduced as a new Pokemon in the uh, upcoming movie. Which, if you know me, if you know me, you know I don't. I never watched these films since I watched the first one. Yeah, I think it's that bad. Uh, but it would be the sixteenth movie, I guess, with the Volcanion and the mechanical Magiana. Uh, we don't know too much about it, and you know I haven't really watched any videos from anybody, mostly because they're probably saying what I'm already saying here that uh, it's. It looks a lot like Daenshi, uh, to some extent. They even look a bit like Vespi Queen, if you think about it. And, uh, yeah, it looks like it has a clink head. Um, it looks like I have a Pokeball body, to some extent. Even the dress kind of looks like a Pokeball, if you think about it. Um, and it's supposed to be a man-made Pokemon from 500 years ago. You know, all that jazz, you know, nobody really cares about that. But it's good to know that it's a man-made Pokemon, and it's an elderly man-made Pokemon, because that also means that it's some kind of story with it, and hopefully next game that's something we'll find out. And that's kind of what I want to get a grasp on, is the importance of this reveal is not the Pokemon itself, because I couldn't really care less. It's all about introducing a new Pokemon itself, so it, it looks like it's a new Pokemon of the Generation 6, which is something we are missing, actually. Which I would be completely fine with. It looks like a Steel Ferrymon, and I think everybody's been saying that. I hope it's not a Steel Ferrymon. I really, really hope it isn't. Uh, because we already got a few of those, and honestly, I really think uh, it would have been a missed opportunity. But it looks so much like it that it would it would feel kind of scary if it wasn't. <laughs> but yeah, it looks like a potential Mewish 100 base Pokemon, 600 base Pokemon. Um, that's real all I got, and you know I speculated something, some few things with friends, but really it doesn't really matter what we speculate. Um, it's more about the, like I said, the introduction of a new Pokemon itself, because that means of that complete silence that has been from Game Freak since X and Y. Yes, we got Aura, so we got no real new news about new Pokemon. Uh, it means that something has been in the working since X and Y. I mean, three years absence of any, anything new content related, it's it's good to see that something is cr being created behind the scenes that we are obviously aren't seeing, and hopefully this leads up to possibly an upcoming game uh, with a new generation, which I think is very unlikely, but the other suspect has been, of course, what um, many people have got me feeling, that the Generation 6 roster was really small, and that it should have been more Pokemons, and that's really what I'm hoping on itself. I really hope they expand Generation Six roster, basically. Um, like I said, we had not have a real new Pokemon for the generation, which I feel that this kind of feels the void of. But also, I really think that the reason Game Freak did not release uh, a whole roster of Generation Six, if I had to speculate, must have been that they really wanted to see what the Fairies Pokemon was doing in mind. I mean, there's no... Uh, oh, I'd say, like, take for Megaltora, for example. It learned Moonlast in uh, X and Y, so it, it's, it felt like it was planned from the start that it was going to get a Mega Pokemon itself, but they wanted to see how the Fairies would do before really confirming that, which is why I believe the Boom Burst on uh, Flygon and stuff and things to come. Uh, never mind getting off topic, but... Uh, I really believe that this is, like I said, a good confirmation because it means something is in the work in the end. I think it is the 27th of February, which they actually celebrate their 20-year anniversary, which I feel is really weird because I do believe Pokemon came out in Europe in 98. Never mind. <laughs> but something like that. And um, like I said, it's important because now we get confirmation that something big is going to go down this year. Even if it goes on 27th February, which I hope, of course, 
but also E3 is a possible way of showing it. And I do remember the X and Y process being quite fast. Like I do believe they introduced X and Y uh, through Koro Koro, showed gameplay on uh, E4, and um, I do believe four months after it was released. So it's very likely that this kind of co goes out kind of fast. So I think that went for Ors too. Like they introduced it in February, and then it was out like ten months after. So uh, I'm pretty sure that this is a fast process too, and hopefully, you know, we get something more out of Koro Koro. I really like this leak kind of thing for them because it's very obvious that it's not a leak. <laughs> like I'm sorry, but it it this is like every time. So um, yeah, it, it basically is a, like a pre-release of the um, sorry of this um, magazine itself. It feels like if you want to read more, buy it. Some of it. <laughs> yeah, but like I said, that's pretty much my thought. I I'm, I'm staying optimistic. I hope to get more news. I mean, we are, we are two weeks basically away from what I hope is a big deal uh, from Game Freak and. Um, you know, they have been hyping up Pokemon Go, and you know, I I, I guess it's cool-ish, but but it really isn't. Uh, I really want a standalone game, like, right now. And it's not because I'm a Poketuber, and you know, I, I, that's not the point. The point is that kind of need that revitalization of Pokemon again, you know, making it relevant and new again. And I feel they really, really was so successful with that X and Y, and I'm feeling that kind of feel is... You know, going away, or has to definitely not catch that feel back again. So I'm staying optimistic here. I really want to see what's going on. And like I said, I'm pretty sure this is not a confirmation of new generation, but rather a broader uh, expand of the previous generation of Generation 6. But I could be wrong. I mean, I do believe Generation 4 and 5 was really close to each other uh, on the same platform. So it's very likely too that it's gonna be a generation six, but as of right now, we have nothing confirmed outside of Mag the Magina or Magiana Pokemon itself. And yes, I think that will pretty much do it. Um, I really believe these kind of videos are it, it's view whoring. I'm I'm really glad I'm a small pocket tuber because that basically means that the guys or the, you guys who have been listening to me are listening to me because you actually are bit interested in what I think, which I appreciate, and I really are interested in what you guys think. Um, but I don't know, I mean, the other Pocketubers usually do the same thing, they read out of Serbi, like, yeah, this is this is the thing, uh, and uh, it could possibly be next generation 6 or 7, and it's going to be a big deal, and I'm, I'm realistified, and I have crazy theories that nobody care about, yeah, yeah you, you see what I'm going with, I'm... I hate that guy so much, he's such an idiot. Uh, so I got that in the video. Yeah, that's relevant. Uh, <laughs> but really, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. And um, yeah, like I said, what are your thoughts? You know, Are you guys having some kind of theories or something you've seen that could be something relevant for, of course, this money mind? I, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm staying optimistic. I really hope we get something out of this. So, anyway, I want to thank everybody, of course, for watching, and I see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye.